Guys, I've got some more news for you. This time it's the prestige changes that Behavior have previewed on their Twitter. And they've said that they're going to release more info on this later in the week. So if you want to be first in the know, make sure you subscribe to my channel as I'll be going over the prestige changes the perk changes and everything else that's coming in July's mid chapter. I actually think July's mid chapter is going to be July 19th, by the way. The reason being is because behavior said that we're getting more info next week, uh, later this week, then I believe the PTP will be next week. And PTPs always come out three weeks before their update. So that would be July 19th, if I'm correct. Either way, here are the changes that we have here. Dwight is at blood lev web level 50. And what I think has happened is as soon as he's hit blood web level 50, he's been offered the big prestige one button. Now, the reason why behavior would do this instead of you being able to unlock stuff at blood web level 50 is because you now keep your perks, add-ons, items, as well as offerings when you prestige. So realistically, once you hit blood web level 50, there's zero reason to stay at blood web level 50 you just hit the prestige button and then you get cheaper blood webs and of course when you hit the prestige button you will now actually unlock all of the unique teachable perks onto everybody's characters automatically so by hitting prestige one uh bond proof myself and leader here from dwight will be unlocked onto every survivor's uh character at level one and of course when you level up that character you can get the level twos and threes but also what you can do is just continue leveling up that character to getting them to prestige two and prestige three here's a huntress they have just hit prestige level four go you huntress brand new prestiges go as many levels as possible and because she's got to prestige level four or i guess more importantly two and three you can see that her unique teachable perks are unlocked on everyone's character at level three so that is the new changes coming with the prestiges that are very interesting and exciting because it'll be so much easier to unlock perks on every character. Not to mention, we actually have a new endgame screen as well. And this endgame screen shows everybody's prestige levels on the left. So Claudia is prestige 8, Nia prestige 6, Meg 5, Dwight 7, and the twins, as if they're actually in a game, is level 7 as well, prestige level 7. And interestingly, you'll notice that Meg's is a slight difference here, right? It's silver. And if you uh, were paying attention on the previous screen, so is Huntress's. I think this is the Prestige 3 reward that Behavior teased during their anniversary announcement. So if you got your character to Prestige 3 before the change in July, then I believe you'll have this silver border around your Prestige rather than the common bronze one that everybody else had in the main menu it, it could also be the other way around it could be the bronze or goldy one that is uh more common but i think it's going to be the silver one that you get for prestige 3 and also uh, another small change is that everyone's characters are listed in the end game screen with the names being in a, a smaller font next to that and that's just a, a nice little quality of life change so you can easily identify who was the annoying Nia with the clicky flashlight that you want to uh, send toxic messages to in the endgame chat? Oh, I'm joking. Okay, don't actually do that. But anyway, that's that's the change. So let me know, guys, what you think of the changes. Are you excited for the prestige game changes coming in the July mid chapter? Uh, leave a comment below. And of course, if you want to know more information about this when I talk about it later in the week, then hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys.